breaking news from Arkansas. Bill and Hillary Clinton to be indicted. For years Bill and Hillary Clinton have evaded prosecution for dozens of crimes, but it appears that her luck is about to run out. Over the years, Clinton has been involved in numerous scandals that would land anyone else in America behind bars for life. However, since the Clintons are top leading liberal politicians, they have been able to fly under the radar despite the public outcry for their arrest and prosecution. Both Bill and Hillary's arrogance knows no bounds, and that has been evident in the way the two have flaunted their freedom in front of the American people and on the world stage. For instance, just last year, during the presidential campaign, Clinton was cleared of any wrongdoing by the former FBI director James Comey for the use of a private server and deleting countless sensitive emails which happens to be a federal crime. However, instead of Hillary being indicted, she was cleared of all charges, which seemed only to encourage her, as she began to accuse President Trump of Russian collusion and a myriad of other crimes worthy of his impeachment. But now the tables have turned in the last week as new evidence of Hillary Clinton's involvement in the Uranium One scandal has been revealed which could land her behind bars sooner than later after the first indictments have been handed out over this weekend, but that is just the beginning. Now, an Arkansas grand jury has convened to indict both Bill and Hillary Clinton as well as countless other Clinton Foundation employees which means we may finally see justice happen in our lifetime. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has been aggravating conservatives for the past year as he has refused to go after Hillary Clinton and her various crimes. For months, we have witnessed the smug two-time failed presidential candidate traipsing around the country slamming President Trump and all those who voted for him spreading her vicious lies. However, those smug days may be over since Sessions has ordered prosecutors at the Department of Justice to begin interviewing FBI agents about evidence they uncovered in a criminal investigation into a highly controversial uranium deal that involves Bill and Hillary Clinton. Then to add more fuel to the fire Corey Hilland, a U.S. attorney picked by Trump in 2017, has convened a grand jury in Little Rock, Arkansas, that has been working hard for last several months according to the Washington Post. According to recent reports, Hilland has reopened the Clinton Foundation investigation that was shut down by Loretta Lynch and disgraced former FBI Director James Comey, but of course, the left is doing their best to protect the Clinton posse. The mainstream media in their desire to shield the criminal Clintons has done their best to push this significant news story onto the rug, but that will be hard to do considering the recent indictments handed down. Here is more from Briet Bart. An 11-count indictment has been handed down from a grand jury investigating possible Russian bribery involving former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's uranium one deal negotiated when she was part of the Obama administration, a report says. The indictment was levied against Maryland resident Mark Lambert, a former co-president of a nuclear transportation company involved in Hillary Clinton's deal to sell U.S. uranium interests to a Russian company. A Department of Justice statement says that the 54-year-old Lambert was charged with one count of conspiracy to violate the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act FCPA, and to commit wire fraud, seven counts of violating the FCPA, two counts of wire fraud and one count of international promotion money laundering. The statement added. The charges stem from an alleged scheme to bribe Vadim Mikran, a Russian official at JSC Texnape Export, Tenex a subsidiary of Russia's State Atomic Energy Corporation and the sole supplier and exporter of Russian Federation Uranium and Uranium Enrichment Services to nuclear power companies worldwide, in order to secure contracts with Tenex. The charges come on the heels of an eight-year investigation into the sale of Uranium-1 to the Russian company. The sale was completed in 2013. Peter Schweizer Government Accountability Institute President and Briet Bart News Senior Editor at Large, broke the Uranium One scandal in his book Clinton Cash, the untold story of how and why foreign governments and businesses helped make Bill and Hillary rich. The Uranium One scandal centers on the partial sale of the Canadian firm Uranium One to Russia's atomic energy giant Rosatom. The Obama administration was required to approve the sale because it transferred 20% of U.S. uranium stocks to Russia. As it happens, Hillary Clinton was on the federal board that approved the deal in 2010. 
The Uranium One scandal centers on the partial sale of the Canadian firm Uranium One to Russia's atomic energy giant Rosatom. The Obama administration was required to approve the sale because it transferred 20% of U.S. uranium stocks to Russia. As it happens, Hillary Clinton was on the federal board that approved the deal in 2010. Soon after the word was spread about the indictment, Julian Assange posted a tweet that had many people scratching their heads. However, if you are a chess player you will understand the significance of this post, and here is why. The chess piece shows a move from what many hail as the greatest chess game of all time in a step from the 1918 Capablanca vs. Marshall game. Checkmate is just one move away which is a signal to Bill and Hillary that they are about to go down and it is about damn time. Time.